Since Friday, 4,000 flights have been canceled. United, Delta, American and JetBlue all citing staffing shortages as COVID cases soar among pilots, flight attendants and critical personnel. Tonight, TSA says there are still millions of travelers headed home. More flights were delayed and canceled at CVG today. That's where we find WCPO 9 News reporter Marielle Carbone, who's been speaking to travelers all day. Marielle, how have they been making out while you've been out there? Well, Whitney, for a lot of people, their travel was just fine today. But for those who showed up at the airport and saw their flight status listed in orange, that's delayed or even red for canceled. It's been a frustrating day here. Wilson Tursell was supposed to be boarding a Frontier flight to Tampa. Instead, he's heading to a hotel. It's been crazy, so uh, my flight was canceled two hours before takeoff. We caught Tursell, his fiance, and their three-year-old son in the ticketing line, where they were told staffing shortages caused the cancellation. Everyone knows life goes on, so you have to really understand how to deal with these situations. and. You know, that's, that, that's the most thing, just keeping your calm. You seem calm. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Several airlines, including United, Delta, and American, are blaming the Omicron variant for staffing shortages, leading to delays and cancellations over the past week. As of 2 p.m., FlightAware, which tracks flights worldwide, reported nearly 3,000 cancellations. At least three of those were leaving CVG and five coming into the airport. Uh, we're about... Uh, 20 minutes delayed. 20 minutes delayed right now. Sherry and Matt Johnson say they've been checking the Allegiant app for updates. We thought it could happen. Yeah, for sure. But they weren't too worried about their flight to Sarasota. We usually have backup plans. We said if it was canceled, we'd try to get on a Delta flight. For Tercel, his family will fly out on a different airline tomorrow morning. So <laughs> we are going to have to book a hotel and uh, see what uh, lies ahead. I, I can work remote, so that doesn't affect me too much. However, my fiance, she goes into work, she'll be affected. She's going to have to call off. And so Tercel, he recommends checking your email before getting to the airport. And a spokeswoman for the airport, she says it's a good idea to download an app for the airline that you're flying on. That way you can set up push notifications and get direct notifications to your phone if there are any changes with your flight status. Reporting live from CVG, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.